Watch out. The crime scene was dark and unimaginable. A young woman with a chain around her neck this is, this is. kept as a sex slave inside of an isolated storage container. Are you okay? Just a girl. Just a girl. Just a girl. And I'm asking her, I'm like, who are you? What's your name? Here's this girl chained up like a dog. In the back of a container. Did I just step into Hollywood on a movie set? This bizarre and frightening story began Labor Day weekend, 2016, when 30 year old Kayla Brown and her 32 year old boyfriend, Charles David Carver, went missing near Spartanburg, South Carolina. Do you know where your buddy is? Charlie? Yes. She told the police that she saw Todd Kolop shoot her boyfriend, Charlie Carver. After her rescue, Kayla was rushed from the scene into an ambulance. There, she began talking about her two month imprisonment at the hands of Todd Kolop. What did Todd do while you were there? We would get there. Kayla survived her ordeal, but seven others who encountered Todd Kolop did not. And in hours of candid confessions, he detailed those murders for police. Shot him twice okay. in the chest. Okay. He dropped forward. I went around him and put another one through a spinal column. These confessions of a serial killer's journey into darkness sometimes border on the surreal. My golf game is weak. My kill game is strong. David Begno joins us now. David, how did this woman survive for two months being locked up in that storage container? It's a good question, and I have to be honest with you. At least one of the fathers of one of the victims said that he was told by the local prosecutor, you will actually have more questions than you have answers when we release this file. We have been trying to get this really since the crime happened, but it wasn't until Todd Kolop went before a judge and pleaded guilty that the prosecutor released this information. How did she survive? She only talked to Dr. Phil, but in the case file and talking to some of the victim's relatives, they're not quite buying every aspect of her story. David Begnow, David, thank you. What a story.